Right, Striggy. Holy oh, moly! We got a boy! <laughs> Mate, now tell me about the sailfish encounter. Mate, story of the sailfish. I honestly couldn't script it any better. So we're out there fishing. I look under the boat and the boys all spotted this squid. Big squid under the boat. And then, out of nowhere, a sailfish comes in underneath the squid. The sailfish has got its sail up. Yep. It's all barred up, doing tight laps around the squid. You would have barred up too, what? Mate, you're close <laughs> to it. <laughs> it doesn't take much anyway. I thought, mate, I've never swum with a sailfish. So I grabbed my mask, jumped straight in there with it. Yeah. And by the time I got in, all I could see was just this big black ink patch. You just ink yourself out of control. Yeah. Just yeah. out of control. Yeah. We both it must have inked simultaneously. Oh, yeah, me and the squid. Yep. You're not gonna catch that squid. The sailfish got it. As I'm sort of swimming back to the boat, I hear these the boys are yahooing and carrying on. Yeah. And I, I poke my head above the surface and next to the boat is this sail just out of the water. What's well, so it hit the squid smacked it towards the boat and then he's just up around the boat yeah and then the boys got a line in apparently just dropped the soft plastic right on its nose yeah and it just bit it and so i've swum back over to the boat by the time i got there it sort of staunched up at me a little bit well had it had a bit of a go at you. yeah a little bit it was like it wanted a bit of a jousting bout you know like it came at me it had its sail up and it was all sort of staunch had his sword out again like do you have to get your sword out or mate it was pretty close to it <laughs> going a bit under gun though yeah i know mate he had a bit of extra size on me there but it wouldn't be the first time so anyway <laughs> this bloody sail he's come come yeah. at me yeah I kept trying to get out of his way. That's what, do you reckon he could have just pinched it straight through you? Well, mate, that's the thing. I thought if he kicks, that thing's going to go through me like a hot knife through butter. Yeah, right. You know? So I was getting out of his way and I thought, oh, spit, how are you going? So he didn't know he was hooked? No, I didn't know he was hooked, but he, something must not have felt right to him. Yeah. And I was in the water and he must have thought, what's this bugger doing? Yeah, a bit, so, of, bit of head on head crashing, yeah, yeah, so then he's come at me and then at one stage he just threw his bill like that and full had a go at me and yeah. I thought, geez, this is a bit bloody, getting a bit hairy. Did you do your back up? Or? Yeah, I did my best to get, get out of his way. Yeah. All of a sudden, he must have realised it was hooked and it just turned around Catch and just you. took off of the horizon, mate, like that, and it was gone 50 metres. Fastest fish, tail fastest fish in the ocean. Oh, it was awesome to see, and I thought, I better get back in the boat here, we've got to chase this thing. Yeah, too right. So we're back in the boat. Cody's up the front what, fighting boys, it. Boys frothing or what? They just going off. Boys were carrying on like pork chops at this stage, <laughs> going bananas. <laughs> and Cody, the bloke who's hooked it, the reel he's using, mate, he was fishing in the mangroves a week before. He thought he had a snag, wound it in. Long story short, he brought up his bait caster, yeah. like a brim rod, and that's what he's used to hook the fish. So first thing is, he's got about oh, 60 metres of line on it. So we're on the plane, just pinning it, chasing this sail. You know, next stop New Zealand kind of a setup. It was just going. <laughs> yeah, go on. I thought, oh, that was cool. We hooked it. Surely there's no chance we can we can keep up with him. 45 minutes later, it was starting to tire. We got in close to it. We thought, this is our chance. This is our moment of this truth. This is our moment. Make or break. Yeah. This is it. You know, turns boys into men. These kind of things. So. It took off and turned us back into boys pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, took off and it goes, no, nah, you don't have me yet. Oh, Eventually, mate, he tied, came up next to the boat. And so we, the game plan was get him next to the boat. And we'll try grab his bill yeah. and you, you know, get him in the boat, get the hook out. And um, mate, as soon as he got close enough to the boat, game plan went out, out the, the window. window. <laughs> I just panicked and just grabbed the big bastard by the tail. Yeah, and mate, I was not in control at all. This thing's just kicking like crazy. I'm going, help, boys, help! Like, everyone is there. And then boys. reinforcements arrived. Hold on, hold him, Jimmy. Hold him. Bring his bill around. Grab the bill. Grab the bill. Grab the bill, Jacko. Grab the bill, Jack. Yeah, the bill. Got the fish in the boat, the bill, and uh, the you haven't seen four happier boys. Oh, just we just yeah, went for the Get him! Get him! Get Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Got the photo to prove it. High fives all around. High fives. A few are missing, a few are hitting. It was all that sort of stuff. And then just swam the fish, released it, mate, and he swam off. That's honestly spectacular, mate. I'll cheers you to that. Cheers, mate. Just goes to show, not the size of the rod, is it? 